Register Phenomena Code 513 Containment Class Beta Lethality Rating Orange Hazard Types Sentient Transmutation Auditory Animated Containment Protocols RPC-513 must be kept within a Faraday cage, locked within a reinforced containment room at Site-002, only accessible by personnel with Level 3 security clearance or higher. A Faraday cage, or Faraday shield, is an enclosure used to block electromagnetic fields. RPC-513 must not be played under any circumstances, and the containment area of RPC-513 must be equipped with incinerators. In the event that RPC-513 breaches containment, all intercom speakers and other electronic speakers within the site must be shut off immediately, and armed personnel will be tasked with locating and recontaining RPC-513. Once recontainment is completed, all electronic speakers can be activated. All RPC-513-1 instances should be retained for research and testing purposes. If neutralized, the RPC-513-1 corpse must be disposed of via incineration. Surgical procedures performed on RPC-513-1 instances have been discontinued. All tests on RPC-513 have been restricted, and all testing requests are to be denied. RPC-513 is a vintage vinyl record estimated to originate from the late 1940s to 1950s with a diameter of 30.48 cm and weighing approximately 149.9 grams, and is not visibly anomalous. RPC-513 bears no paper label, and its ventral surface is severely scratched. Analysis of the music, via the digitization of the record's pattern, have yielded inconclusive results. The source of the record, composer, and musicians are unknown. RPC-513 emits radio waves and connects to any device with a speaker, regardless if it is designed for a UHF connection or not. The device must be in a range of 2.2 meters or less from RPC-513 to properly connect. If RPC-513 has no speaker in its range, a insectile, leg-like appendage similar to that of an arachnid will grow from the edges of RPC-513 in order to search for the nearest speaker to connect to and will remain non-hostile towards any form of life. The appendages are 15.24 cm in length and are constructed of PVC. Polyvinyl Chloride When RPC-513 connects to a speaker, it will begin to play jazz music. The music is heavily distorted, and its music appears to have been executed by poorly skilled musicians. Multiple instruments can be heard, some of which do not belong in an ordinary jazz band. These instruments can be identified as trumpets, saxophones, pianos, trombones, bass, drums, flutes, cymbals, and an accordion. RPC-513 is capable of connecting to any type of speaker, regardless of its original use. RPC-513 is able to connect to phone speakers, intercoms, television speakers, electronic alarms, bells such as fire alarms and any other electronics or machines possessing a speaker. Any subject who is able to hear the music produced from RPC-513 is designated RPC-513-1. RPC-513-1 instances are humanoid entities who do not have any considerable physical changes in appearance, although, once the music has ended or has been paused in any way, the RPC-513-1 instances will begin to grow objects, identified as records, in multiple vital areas such as the cranial, abdominal, and chest cavity. All veins and arteries have been identified as being able to pass through its disc, although these discs are capable of causing the RPC-513-1 instance severe pain, discomfort, and, after a long period of time, fatal aneurysms. Typically about seven days a ballooning and weakened area in an artery. Recent tests have shown that once the RPC-513-1 instance has passed away, it is much easier to remove the record-shaped growth within the body. Extracted records are labeled with, and contain music from, a variety of different artists and songs 
both historical and modern. The following are multiple songs recovered from RPC-513-1 instances. Fur Elisa, composed by Ludwig van Beethoven, 1867. Angel Child, by Al Jolson, 1922. Sweet Dream, by Annie Lennox, 1983. Never Gonna Give You Up, by Rick Astley, 1987. Blue, by Eiffel 65, 1999. Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes, 2003. Photograph by Nickelback, 2005. Los Unslafen by Tokyo Hotel, 2009. New Divide by Linkin Park, 2009. When each record was played, it would play the specified song labeled on the disc, although it will have slight distortion along with out-of-tune music with vocals from the original artist of Annie. Discovery RPC-513 first came to the attention of the Authority after a report of seven men and three women that had grown odd disc-shaped tumors after listening to what was described by a patient as awful music during an office staff meeting at the One World Trade Center in New York City, New York. Once word had gotten out, the Authority took custody of the patients and were kept for special treatment and questioning. After questioning had been completed, mobile specialized <clears throat> after questioning had been completed, mobile specialized team Echo 21, Sleeping Sirens, had been dispatched to search for and safely contain RPC-513. The mission resulted in the deaths of two MST members due to RPC-513's auditory effects. Medical staff from the Tisch Hospital in Manhattan involved with the discovery were all administered Class A-3 amnestics. Media coverage of the incident was successfully suppressed. The victims passed away a week after being taken into custody, and standard cover stories for the cause of death were given to the families of each subject. Addendum 513.1 As of today, there is no safe way of removing these discs from an RPC-513-1 instance. Removal of the disc will cause the vital organs involved to become severely damaged, and will often cause severe internal bleeding, as well as a much more painful death. The head researcher for RPC-513 has recommended that these surgeries should no longer be attempted for this reason. Addendum 513.2 On March 28, 2018, a record removed from an RPC-513-1 instance was labeled Old Town Road by an artist identified as Little Nos X. No artist of song of this title known to exist. A vinyl copy of the song in question was released in 2019, indicating that RPC-513 is capable of generating recordings of songs that do not yet exist. <laughs>